Hi everybody. Um, I wanted to share a couple of different dreams that again go together and I want to start with the scripture. This is in um, let's see here Isaiah 55 verse 6 through 9. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. This is God saying this. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways your ways, say the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Okay, um, this dream I had, what's interesting about this is my sister and I um, have dreams and different things uh, we study together. And... I had shared this dream with her. I usually tell her my dreams the next day. And um, I told her my dream. It was very short. And she was astonished because she'd had almost the exact same dream, which is a great confirmation for me. Um, but what it was, my dream was I was standing outside and I looked and I could see the moon. And it was huge, just super, super, super close to the, to the earth and bigger than I'd ever seen it, bigger than you would think possible. And then um, I was showing my sister who was in my dream, and I said, look. I said, and we could see, it, it was this kind of a, a vision, but it was basically we were standing here looking this way. But it was like the moon was here, over here, and then we saw these planets lined up. And I pointed at this one out, and I said, look, that one's Saturn. Don't you see the rings? And then I woke up. And then I had a another dream, and this one was um, May 2015. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that one I'd had before was um, back in 2014. So this one I had May 2015, um, and I dreamt that. And sorry, I was just I had another visual there for the rings. Um, I had a dream that I was standing on the ground, and again I was with my sister. And as, as you know, in case you don't know, it can be your real sister, but it can also mean your sister in the faith. It could mean the church. Um, anyway, I had a dream that I was standing up and it was bright, white, fluffy clouds in the sky. And I could see a shimmering and I was trying to figure out what it was. It was like you could see like the, the roundness of the shimmer, but only on this side. And then suddenly I flew up into the sky and I was able to fly around these things and there were four of them all in a row and they looked identical in shape and size and substance and I could see right through them crystal clear but they looked like the earth but I could see through them and they were lined up like marbles in the sky and I was able to fly around and around and get as close as I want or come back and look farther away and but the significant thing was there was four and then um this particular dream I had in July 7, 2014, and honestly, I, I just didn't understand it. Um, and actually, this wasn't a dream. I'm sorry. This was a vision. I was sleeping, and I woke up in the middle of the night, and I had a vision on my ceiling in my bedroom. And what I saw was, this is an actual drawing from my notebook, just so I could give you an idea. What I saw first was the letter 4. Now, I normally write a four open, like, you know, open. I never write it this way, but that's how it appeared to me. It was a, it was a closed four like that. And then I saw it was a circle around it. And then I saw this shape here. And what was different about this shape was the four and the circle were like a glowing green, like your night light, your clock in your room at night, you see that glowing green? It was like that. It was almost like a holographic thing. It seemed 3D to me. And this was like a shiny steel or chrome, very shiny, like the grill of a car with the straight lines up and down like this. And um, I had been seeing four. I know a lot of people see numbers. I see one, two, three, four, or four, four, or four, four, four. And I, I'm constantly asking the Lord, you know, what does this mean? And there's so many different things in his word about the number four, but he had me I'm, go and look up the Hebrew, Hebrew and four. And I did that, and it's called a, a Dalet, or Dalet. And um, I found a wonderful video I'm going to attach to the, the bottom of this this video. Please watch it. It's it's exactly t 
ties into all of this, and it was done so well by um, a church in Australia. So, and it's not long, but please, I just ask for you to go go look at that. But just a couple of notes. I went ahead and looked them up, and um, let's see. It's it's said to be known as a door or a gate or like a tent door, a tent gate, where it's flipped over, and they call that like in humbleness. And um, it means loneliness, humility, possessing nothing of yourself, everything that you have and everything you are belongs to God, less of you and more of God. Um, it represents a choice that we make, whether to go through that door, which is Christ, or to choose not to and live our own way. And um, let's see, it goes into the, the four different levels of learning, and it goes into um, what I thought was interesting is, um, let's see, Della is the doorway for Judah, which is Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus, the Christ. The true judge, the Father God, has given authority over all to him. He was born from the tribe of Judah. And um, and it goes into uh, God's name has four letters. And um, let's see... There's just so much here, I can't go through it, or I wish I could. I will go ahead and include this video, but let me go ahead and explain to you what I got from this so far. The moon that I saw represents the church. As you know, the sun is Jesus, and the moon is the church or bride, and um, as a whole. But individually, the stars represent each one of us. And not we don't give off our own light, we reflect the light of the sun, which is Jesus Christ. Now, the Saturn, um, I didn't know this. I mean, I only know, like, uh, probably a lot of you, it's more of the um, the world's view of planets and their meanings and astrology and astronomy altogether. But each planet points to Christ. It's a symbol of something. And the Saturn represents rings, wedding ring, covenant. With us, with Israel, there are pictures of Saturn that has, like, a... Um, I think it's a, a hexagon, which is an eight point, which is the Star of David, which is on the top of it, and it represents covenant. The size of the moon means that the church is almost to its full, the fullness, the fullness of the Gentiles. The covenants that, that are made with us and with Israel are about to unfold. God was letting me see that in these end days, he's, he's opening the eyes of, of those of us that have eyes to see and opening up the ears for us to have the ears to hear is revealing what's been hidden. It's being revealed in these last days. Now this one is um, the four. This one had me stumped, you guys. I really have just been praying and praying and praying, especially since he told me to put these videos up. I didn't understand. I almost didn't. I said, Lord, you're going to have to lead me down this road because I don't understand this and I need confirmation. And I, I've been looking for days for, for pictures for this to show you guys just what I saw. Um, I'm a visual person and in my dreams he shows me pictures and movies and that's how I like to relay them to you. So I started looking for the number four and actually in that process I, I was having a hard time finding the right four. So I started to look for the grill and I came across this. It, they were pictures of roadsters, which are smart, small, you know, convertibles, um, open top or closed top. You either, have a co you either have the covering of the Lord or you don't. This has a dual meaning. And I thought, okay, so I started looking at different roadsters and different makes and models of cars to try and find the best one. And in the process of this, I realized, well, here, I'll show you. I found this picture, and it came up out of nowhere. And I immediately saw the shape and the grill going straight up and down and the circles. In my dream, it was just one, but here, I'm going to show you, there's a circle. And the number four, I actually found this particular watch with the number four in it, okay? And the green, okay, so what this represented, what I got from this. This watch was made because it was a car company, the Maserati company, and this this watch company, um, I can't remember the name of it, to be honest, they're both Italian. They partnered up to make a luxury watch to go with a luxury car. And um, 
I had no idea that that four could mean time. But it's it's watch. We we're supposed to be watching. You know, watch therefore, for you do not know the the hour and the day that the Son of Man comes. We're told to watch over and over and over. The four has to do again with this video I'm going to attach down below, and the timepiece. Everything is going according to plan on God's time piece. Um, for us and for the enemy, he's coming for his bride. He's coming for his church that's almost to the full. There, It's almost time for the Antichrist to come. Everything is being fulfilled. All of these are different measurements of time. And everything is on its own time. And God's great time piece, everything is on time. If you watch J.D. Frog, he talks a lot about it's revving up. Everybody says, well, these things have all happened before. There's nothing new. This is all the same. But he says, no, everything is lined up just perfectly. And, and prophecy is being unfolded at a rapid pace, like a revving up of a car engine. It's happening faster and faster and faster. And the proof of that is just what's happened in the last couple of weeks. So I was looking up a different picture trying to find the four for you guys, and I came across this. Maserati's watch and it had the trident um, what's interesting about the trident uh, it can also go with the Florida Lee if you guys watch Pastor Patrick you'll have some idea of what he was talking about but this is you know the the unholy trinity Satan the Antichrist and the false prophet it's also the trident I think of Neptune if you go into that mythology and how it's actually a ripoff of things that had happened before and how Satan has changed their meanings. But also, did you guys know that Shiva holds the trident? And that's how God said, this isn't just a time for you, this is the time for them. And J.D. likes to say, as the world is falling apart, prophecy is coming together. So, this has just been a really hard one for me to understand. The main thing to remember is everything is in God's control. Everything is lined up perfectly. Everything is going to happen in his own time. He's a promise maker and he's a promise keeper and he has covenants he's made with us and that they are coming to pass very quickly and to hang on and to hang on to those promises. And remember, no matter what the world's looking like right now, you guys, he is in control and um, he is revealing to us things that were hidden. I, I think of Daniel when he says, you know, he wrote them down, but God said to close up the book because it wasn't time. But when John was writing for him, he said, don't seal it up because the time is near. And that time in Daniel is talking about the time for Israel, whereas the time for John speaking was our time. So if, if Israel's time is now being revealed, which is I think what he's saying, that this is coming to pass, that how much closer are we to going home? But in the meantime, while there is still day, there's work to be done. We need to go out. We need to bring in the lost. We need to bring in those last sheep. We need to be found working when he comes. I know we're tired. I know we're weary. But I'm just saying hang in there. And God loves you. I love you. If you don't know the Lord, confess with your mouth that you're a sinner. Ask the Lord Jesus to come into your heart and, and to remove that sin from you and to come and live in you. And make you a new creature in Christ Jesus. Read your word every day and pray. He says, those that call upon my name will be saved. The name of Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man shall come unto the Father but through him. And um, thank you guys so much for listening. I love you guys. And I will try and put more up as I can. Bye-bye.